Welcome to Frank Bruno Law. I am Frank Bruno. I'm an elder law, probate, guardianship attorney in New York. Today is day three of uh, going through a client consultation. So, uh, not yesterday, the day before I presented the fact pattern. This is going to be an adult child uh, inquiring of my office, speaking to me uh, about their parent. And uh, the situation is the parent is a widow, uh, had fallen, went to the hospital, was sent to rehab, is in rehab uh, for short duration, and asked me a series of questions. Uh, so I went through uh, power of attorney, uh, healthcare proxy, and now I'm up to the stage. In the conversation uh, that took place, the inquiry was, hey, my mom's gonna need some assistance. Can you assist me with Medicaid? Now, again, in the fact pattern, the person owns a home, the person has money in the bank. I said it's gonna be about 100,000 for this example. Everyone has a fact-specific um, you know, situation as to uh, whether or not they need community Medicaid or institutional Medicaid. And then what are their assets and resources? Now, for the purpose of today's video, I'll let you know that community Medicaid, that's assistance in the home, uh, medical insurance and an aid coming into the home, maybe four hours, a few times a week, up to 24 hours a day, where a person will reside in their own home and get outside assistance. Community Medicaid has its own set of rules and regulations. Uh, they're specific, no, I don't wanna use the words, well, they are specific. Uh, however, the criteria is based on uh, three things. Does the person need the aid uh, physically? Do they physically need the aid? Is their body uh, in such a state, a condition, that they can't take care of the activities of daily living, and do they need Medicaid? Then we have a financial component. Assets, which are called resources. How much money do they have? Do they have properties? Do they have money, financial accounts, right? That type of uh, resources. And monthly income. Those same three uh, criteria, three criteria, yeah. those same three apply for the institutional Medicaid, but the numbers are different. The income is different. The assets that you're permitted are different. What's countable and not countable. Um, so both programs, the two different programs, are uh, they have different um, eligibility requirements. So. That's what I went through on the phone and a little bit of a, uh, you know, a dialogue. Person has a question, I answer, I get asked another question or I have to clarify a point and that's what we do on our phone calls. Uh, this, is, this was a prospective client phone call. If you need, if you are a prospective client, if you'd like to speak with me, please uh, go to the website, frankbrunolaw.com. I'd also like to mention that uh, the third week of this month, I may be doing a webinar. It's a free webinar. Uh, I speak about these issues for an hour. I get to go a little bit more in depth.